When Mary Kay Bella needed a stent to open a blockage in her heart, surgeons inserted a catheter through her groin and snaked it to the damaged artery. The stent procedure went off without a hitch. For me, it was a relatively simple thing. But she was back in the hospital a day later with a minor complication. It wasn't her heart. Doctors had warned her about swelling in her groin. Said to me, now you might get at the point in the groin where the catheter went in, you might get something perhaps the size of an awl of a small lump. But she said, if you get something the size of a golf ball, you need to call. The artery in the groin is large and accessible, which is why it's widely used as an entry point. But thanks to new technology, there's more than one way to a person's heart. An improvement in types of equipment that's smaller allows us to more easily and more safely go in through a puncture hold in the radial artery, the smaller artery in the wrist. Surgeons are accessing the wrist or radial artery for a variety of treatments for heart disease. Both for diagnostic, that is taking pictures to make a definitive diagnosis, but also can be used for angioplasty or putting in coronary artery stents. Going through the wrist is more comfortable for patients and poses fewer complications. They can actually reduce the risk of bleeding because the artery is closer to the surface. Going through the wrist is not always the best choice. For severe blockages or emergency situations, going through the groin is the standard procedure. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.